All right, guys, so I keep getting asked what kind of software I use, what kind of equipment do I use uh, whenever I'm streaming at nighttime. So this is my setup. Let's talk about some of the stuff that I got going on in here. All right, before we get into that, I just want to make it very clear that even though I do have uh, a lot of stuff, it's not the equipment that make the content. Uh, it's what you're talking about and how you present it. Uh, you can stream, which is your phone, iPod, iPad, uh, or just your computer with a web camera. Uh, there's pretty much no difference in any of the stuff. Um, so just make that very clear. It's not about the equipment you have. Uh, it's about who you are and what you're talking about that people are really interested in. So with that being said, let's start off from where I was and where I am right now. All right, so here you can see I had the foam on the back, the iPad, uh, a monitor hooked up to that with a small cheap camcorder, 50 bucks, another iPad for switching and a cheap Amazon microphone. I think I paid 20, 25 bucks for that. I'm still using the arm actually for that. Um, so it's not a, not a fancy setup, but fairly cheap. But it did the job. So one of the first things that I got was this loop deck. Um, absolutely amazing thing. I have all my scenes for my Twitch uh, in here and all my transitions. So as I'm going through, I can click to my main channel. I can go through, I can see what my CPU usage is, uh, how long I've been streaming, uh, pretty much everything all in one area right here, my volume uh, button on a mute, uh, turn it up or turn it down. It's all right there. This little thing, absolute lifesaver for me. It's a USB-C to USB-C. Um, plug and play a little bit of setup in the software but for the most part this is what I use from going back and forth on my scenes now my audio right here little switch on the back this is the Moto uh, M4 and there's my audio testing one two as you can see, I have just one input right now, but I have the capabilities of adding three more. So if I was doing a podcast or uh, with uh, other people in here, this would be uh, perfect for that kind of a setup. USB-C as well. You can also use this with an iPhone, iPad, an amazing device, absolutely awesome. I would recommend this 100% for, uh, for your audio. The microphone I'm using. This is the Podcast Pro. It's absolutely one of the best microphones I've ever had. All aluminum body, comes in multiple different colors. Absolutely awesome. I have it just on this little arm right now, but looking to upgrade this maybe later on. Here is the monitor I have set up. These are the MSI. Um, they're, they're a pretty good monitor. Uh, matte finish, so there's no glare or light reflection. Easy on the eyes. And uh, this is what I use to basically control all my scenes and everything that's going on. I, uh, this is what I'm looking at. Nothing really big or fancy there. Chat is on the right hand side. My preview window, which is right underneath. And then my other screens for Discord, Facebook, and all those other uh, platforms that we stream to all at the same time. Now, let's check out that camera. All right, so this here is the new Panasonic uh, AC1500. Uh, I don't have the top piece as I, do I don't really need it dual cards, 4K, 60 frames a second. Absolutely a beast of a camera. This is what you guys get to see 
me from. Look at that. So that is what pumps out the video for my streams right there. And everything that powers it is two huge PCs maxed out. I got one on the left is an Intel. The one on the right is an AMD. Both have 16 gigs of RAM and of course massive um, graphics cards for processing all of this stuff. As you can see, I got a vent coming in right from there that blows cold air right onto the uh, onto the PCs. And my lighting is these things right here, all LED, all fully adjustable. I use that right there. As you can see, all LED lighting all fully adjustable for the, the color tone, brightness. These can also be used with battery packs uh, if needed. And of course I have the, the light up there, the light there, two lights over there. This is the 24 hour camera that you guys get to see that has that angle. And then of course, there's the whole setup as messy as it is right now. And Secret Labs, Batman edition chair is what I sit in for hours on end at night. And of course, you guys all know, everybody's asking me if this is um, a green screen. No, this is an actual light, LED light. It says watch what weighing on it. And of course, I have the foam on the walls to dampen the sound. And I put those drop curtains behind as well to dampen the sound of the huge room. So I keep everything in here. Sound usually was bouncing off of this, off the monitors, and it would cause an echo in here. But we were able to fix that with the, all that padding and putting that in there. And that, guys, pretty much sums up my whole setup. And of course I use OBS for my 24 hour feed. I also use OBS for my main uh, channel and my main uh, broadcast. And that is the whole setup. So guys, with all of that equipment, it does not make you a good streamer. Having top of the line gear is nice, it helps, but it isn't what makes the stream good. You are what makes the stream good. People, if they don't like you, it doesn't matter what camera you're shooting it on, they're not gonna watch you. So keep that in mind. If you have only an iPhone or a GoPro or uh, something like that, an old camcorder, use it uh, because it's not so much your equipment you can make really nice videos with an iPhone that I'm using right now. So the most important thing is, is that you get those videos out there and stream and stream and stream until the next time guys be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. I love you.